All right, so here we are. We parked at Mineral Bar and we're gonna walk on the Pennyweight Trail. This is the, uh, the wooden walking bridge. There's the bridge you drive in on right there. You can see that. And then this is the North Fork of the American River. And this is the Mineral Bar Campground. Uh, day use fee here is $10 to park, just so you're aware. And then we're gonna just continue on our trip here and see what we can find out. The Pennyweight Trail takes you upstream from the bridges. All right, so this is facing downstream right here. You can see this is a gravel field or gravel bar, if you will. There's some workings right there where some people work the bedrock. But I'm, what I'm noticing as I'm looking at this boulder field is there's a lot of the old river channel that is on the side of the hills here because I know this area and I know what that gravel looks like because it's completely different than the rest of it. So to give you an example, right there is one piece, that red piece there is one of the pieces of the old tertiary gravel. That one there is a piece of the tertiary gravel. There's some more of that tertiary gravel, right? All right in through here is tertiary gravel mixed in with the, the standard light gray bedrock that is in this area. So now if I look upstream from here, you can see there's the old river channel right there, kind of like up above, the one that's been abandoned by the flow. And then all throughout here, there's little pieces and chunks of heavier stone. I wanted to show some examples of the heavier stones. So here's one, you can see here, you can see there's a line, it's almost a line of heavy stones. It's from where my backpack is right there up to about where that big rock is right there. There's a line. If you look, there's it's straight through here. Heavy stone there, heavy stone here. All throughout here is heavy stone. And we can kind of walk through here and so you can see all of this is the heavier stone all throughout right here. But if you go farther down, there's no heavy stone. And we go farther up, it's, it's not the same rocks. This is all... The heavier stuff is all right in here. And it's right in line where, where everybody was digging. Down there on that bedrock. You can see people have been digging like crazy on that bedrock down there. And this is straight in line with where they were digging. You can see. And it's on the inside bend. So this is the area I've settled on. You can see there's a lot of dense heavy stones in this area and that's why i picked it so i'm gonna clean off this area right here i think right behind that big rock and uh, we're gonna get to it my initial thought here was that i would be able to move uh, the big red stone in the center that i'm clearing around um, but I realized after I started moving stuff around it that it was way bigger than I expected. Oh, this stuff's hard. Oh, piece of visible gold. Right there. I don't know if you see that. There's a piece of visible gold right there. That's really exciting. Look at that piece. All right. I ended up only running one bucket of material through the sluice box. It's like a test bucket just to kind of figure out what was in this gravel. And then I kind of moved around and metal detected. I had a lot of issues getting the right flow in my sluice box and I was only able to use it for a short period of time throughout this whole day. 
You can see the flow here is good. It is cleaning out the riffles. I wait for the mat to be completely clear before I put the next scoop on the sluice box. And I just repeat that process until the bucket is empty. So I was metal detecting and I stopped here on this piece of bedrock. It rings up a six, seven, five, two, six, seven, five, two on my metal detector. And it's right there in that crack. There's no material there. Look it. The target's right there. So that's where I'm gonna dig. really happy that I upgraded to a crevicing tool. This made this job a lot easier and without it I don't know if I was I don't know if I'd be able to actually get into this crack as easy as I did. First, this crevice looked like it wasn't really going anywhere, so I decided to try to open it up with the chisel and see if I could get whatever was setting off my metal detector out. I didn't have a lot of room to put material I was getting out of the crack, so I decided to clear out some area around it. That way I had a spot to put material. Every time I remove material from the hole, I uh, check to make sure the target is still there. Oh, that's a creek. Look at that crease. It's like, it's like four inches deep. This little crack right here, it's hot crack, it's like four inches deep. After realizing it went way deeper than I expected, I uh, got the chisel out and decided to try to open it up some more and uh, see what was in there. This piece was really stubborn and did not want to come out at all. Just keep working both sides of it, removing material from it, and eventually you'll be able to rock it out. I want this piece out. 
still beeping. So this area looks like this. It's very slaty. And the target is right in that crack. I got that big piece out. Here. So here I think what happened is the target moved farther into the crevice and I wasn't able to receive it anymore with the metal detector on top. I was only able to get it from the side. still in there. It's still in there. Right. Oh, there it is. I found the target. Is that it? That's it. Holy cow. I can't see what I'm showing. That's it right there. I'm shaking. I can't, I can't even hold still. <laughs> Where is it at? There it is. Let's go rinse this off. Oh. All right, so I walked down to the water. Let's rinse this thing off without losing it. Oh. I need to get my pan before I lose it. I'm gonna lose it if I don't get my pan. All right, this is that piece. I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> Oh man, that's exciting. I bet you that's at least a gram. Oh, I'm so excited. That's gotta be at least the biggest piece I've gotten so far. All right, so right here is where I got that nugget out of, right there. And I dug this whole area down. I followed the bedrock. I dug this whole area out right here. This big rock is now. This was right here. All of these were in this hole right here. You can see all the boulders that moved out. But I dug down right in here and I followed that crack down because I figured if that nugget was right there, there's got to be more. So I chased that crack down and all I got was a few, a few pieces. I didn't get a whole lot like I was expecting, but that's okay. That's what prospecting is all about. Either someone's already been to this location before me and they cleaned it out and it was filled back in or I just got really unlucky. But yeah, that's where that nugget was, right there. So this is that hole I was working where I found the nugget. This is that piece of bedrock. You can see it like sticks up right here. And if you look upstream from here, there's all kinds of bedrock like this upstream. And this is the inside bend right here. And you can see like, I don't know if you notice this, but there's an old river bench over there. I sure wish I could get over there. Something I noticed about where I found this nugget is that the bedrock here looks almost like a riffle in a sluice box. It runs across the river um, at a 45 degree angle and the riffle continues all the way up the mountain. You can see. So this is a perfect little gold trap. So I ended up throwing a lot of the gold I cleaned up on this trip into a snuffer bottle that was from other trips. So I only got to weigh the nugget. A penny weight is about one and a half grams, and uh, I got a little over that on the penny weight trail. So all in all, it was a great trip, and I'll definitely go again.